So far, we've looked at almost all of those options that you see here, and we have to look at the response type and the with credentials. So let's go ahead and look at those. So I'm gonna go back in the code, and let's just take a look here and see what we have. If I do Alt uh, F12, uh, you can see that we can pass in the response type. By default, it's JSON. So that's why everything's been working because we just deserialize everything as JSON. But that's not always the case. So most of the time, it's going to be JSON with the new API and uh, RESTful API. They usually return JSON, but sometimes you might return a different data type. And as you can see here, um, this can be an array buffer, a blob, or JSON or text. Okay. So usually have blob or array buffer when you're doing some kind of a download and you're trying to buffer some uh, bytes, okay? And that's the same for blob as well. You can, you can use either depending on the type of download that you're doing. And then JSON, we already talked about it. You know, most of the APIs, they use JSON, but you can also get text. So I'm gonna show you two examples of the array buffer or blob and then the text because we've already been doing the JSON, which is the default in pretty much almost all of the uh, functions like the get, the put and all the different variations of them. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So I'm gonna copy this and let's just go and paste it up here. And let's say I'm gonna call this get the uh, text file or something because I wanna show you an example with the response type text. I'm gonna remove the observable for now so that we can determine uh, what the response is going to be. And in here, um, let's see, uh, let's go into the asset folder here and I'm gonna put a file here and I'm gonna call it uh, file.txt, okay? And I'm just gonna, well, I already had one here. Oh, okay, so I had one here already. So I'm just gonna delete this. All right, so I have this, I remember that I just put this in here earlier. So we have this text.txt file, so we can make a HTTP request to read this file. And that's when we're gonna set the type to text and not JSON because that's what this is. So let's go ahead and close this and collapse this. So we wanna send this request to assets and this was text.txt, was it text? It's text, yeah, text.txt, okay, so that's that. So we're gonna get text file. And if you hover over this, you see it's returning an observable of user. So let's remove this. All right. And then pass in the response type in our options. So here, I'm gonna do response type and set this to a string and I'm gonna do text, okay? So now Angular is smart to read this value that we're setting here. So let's see the response type now. You can see it's an observable of string. So we can just pass this in as the response type that we're gonna get. So here, I'm gonna say this is an observable of string. Don't forget the colon. And we can pass in the same type here. Okay, just to be consistent. All right, so you see, oops. So it doesn't take the type. Okay, so the, the way you can determine how this thing works is this way. Because I used to have problem with this. Like I would do something like this, like I would know exactly what my HTTP call is going to return and I put in the appropriate option and it will give me this error. So this is what you do when that happens. You remove the type in the get or the put or whatever the method is and then you go inside of it. So I do Alt F12. So you see here, it's not a generic. You see, it doesn't take any generic. So whenever the response type is text, you know it's going to return an observable of text but you don't have to specify anything here. Just leave it blank, okay? Which is why it was giving us an error because we actually have the definition for when the response type is of type text, okay? So that's the case here. So we just leave this blank because that's how it's defined. And then it knows that it's gonna return an observable of text because we specify this here. So let's go ahead and call this function, get text file. Let's go and do the component and just gonna copy this and let's just paste it down on get uh, text file. And we're just gonna call the get text file. I'll just pass it here, it doesn't take any parameters. Okay, done getting text file. I'm just gonna remove this. 
All right, so now we can read whatever the response is, it will show here. So let's call this function and let's go up here and let's just call it here. So now let's go to the browser and go to our application. You can see it's already here. Okay, so if I refresh, you can see this is the text that we have. So that's how you read text if you know that your response is gonna be of type text. And I'm just using a text file, but sometimes you can have like an actual backend and they just return like text instead of like JSON or anything else. So you can see if I change this or if I don't pass it, okay, by default, it's gonna be JSON and now it's gonna ask me to define this or what I can do is I can just leave this out so that there's a complaint, okay? So it knows it's gonna return observable of object or whatever the case. So now if we go back, we get this and it's an error here that we get, okay? It cannot read the syntax because it thinks it's JSON. When it tries to read it, it can't read it because it's not JSON, okay? So we get this error here and the HTTP response here, we have an error. So if I refresh again, you can see we didn't read it properly. We did get a 200, but we didn't get the data back. You can see instead of a response body, we get an error response. And whenever you get this uh, unexpected token, there's something with the JSON. So it couldn't read the JSON. So let's go back and change this to response type text. So now even if we remove this, because we pass in the response type, you'll be able to read it. And there you go, okay? And if we had the case for like array buffer, so you would have something like this. So you would have blob, for instance. And then your request might look uh, something like this. So you can have, uh, let's see here, and then you would have the HTTP response, and then you pass in the type. And here you would say blob. And now we have too many of those, All right? So it would look something like this. And now we have to pass in this option because this is expecting an HTTP response. So here we can pass in the type for blob, and then we pass in the observe, and we're gonna say response. Once we do that, it doesn't complain anymore. So something like if a request to download some information, it could look like this. So we know the it's gonna return an HTTP response. Instead of the body of the HTTP response, it's gonna be blob information or some binary data. And then we make our call or whatever. And then we set the response type of type blob, okay? So I have other courses where I show how to download information. And whenever you creating the HTTP request, it's gonna look like something like this. So I just wanted to show you guys the different you know response type but i don't have an example back in that i can show you for download but that's what the uh, function would look like if you were to like download file or something say so say download file okay oops i get download file it would look like this so that's pretty much everything for the http request against that's the basic and i'm going to show you a more reactive way to make http requests instead of this uh, procedural way that we have here when we declare function and then we call those functions.